Welcome back uh, for another video. So I'm just enjoying my coffee frappe uh, with no whipped cream, of course. You're obviously back because you want to see some content or maybe it's just my looks. Um, the TikTok actually has a trend at the moment where you do a video with a attractiveness scale and I actually got nine out of 10. So as they say, if it's on TikTok, it must be true, right? Today we've, uh, we're going back to that other pool to have a look at that. If you didn't see that in my last video, check it out after this one. And I'm going to actually do a bit of a conversation on my uh, vacuum heads. Uh, I get a lot of comments and a little bit of criticism on some other platforms about the vacuum heads. So I'm just going to have a little chat about that as well. Hope you make it to the end. Otherwise, enjoy your day and stay safe. Okay, that's cleared up nicely. A little bit of sediment on the floor. Ah, coffee frappe, no whipped cream. I'm pretty happy with the result with that last pool. If you didn't see the original video, it's back in the content. I changed up a bit of a chemical that I don't normally use and seems to be perform seems to have performed a bit better. I will say that it's got a little bit of sediment on the floor there. I spoke to the customer, they love looking after their own pool between services. So they're going to either vacuum it or put their fantastic robot in just to pick up that finer stuff. They've got a really good robot which will pick that up. So, you know, it's probably taught me that, you know, sometimes you've got to get out of your comfort zone and just try something a little bit different. Okay, I thought I'd throw in a question time. I uh, used the JXJ724 on one of the other platforms of my content. It's asked me, love to see what type of products you use. I pretty much only use quality products. I won't use any cheap rubbish stuff. At the moment, I've got a bit of a mixture of some of our preferred suppliers. Uh, some of my com chemicals come from Zodiac. Some are from uh, Lowclaw. And we've also got some there from IQ, which is International Quadratics. Depending on the circumstances, I tend to trial a few different products and once I find a product that I like and I know it works and the results are there, I tend to stick to it. That's why I don't talk, sort of tend to stick to one particular brand. Uh, I try to mix it up. So unlike Google may tell you in some areas, every pool is different. Every pool chemistry will be different. Surfaces are different and everything and there's all these other little things that make up a difference in the chemistry readings and what needs to be added. And sometimes certain products work better than others. If you want a question answered, by all means, leave it in the comments. So you've probably seen a change to the playlist name. I thought I'd just change it to On The Job With The Pool Guy. It's sort of more around the uh, content that I want to steer towards. I get a lot of questions and uh, sometimes some terrible comments about the type of equipment that I use. and. Today I'm going to discuss the Magnol vacuum head that I use in my videos. So this is my service vacuum head. A lot of people say I should be more professional as a service guy doing video content with the more professional stuff. But this one here I've had for quite a while. I change them over probably twice a year. It's the Magnol flexible head. It's got built-in weights. So a lot of people say I need something that sort of sits on the floor. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. So I don't seem to have any trouble with it. The hole's reasonable, unless you've got uh, massive clumps of debris, which you should be scooping up anyway prior to vacuuming to assist. It performs quite well. If you've got an idea or you want to send something out to me for the, to try as an alternative, I'm more than happy to give it a go. Postal information's in the about section. Let's head off and do some underwater filming content so you can see how this performs underwater.
So as you can see, the vacuum head works reasonably well. Just bear in mind that no matter what vacuum head you got, you've, you've always got to have a good pump and you've also got to have a good filtration system. If you've got a problem with your media or your filtration system, whether it's the element needs replacing or something like that, that's going to impact the actual suction pressure through your head. So regardless of, you could have the best head in the world, uh, but if you don't have a great filtration system, great pump, and when I say great pump and filtration system, I'm also talking about making sure that they're sized correctly. Or your media in your sand filter might be worn and old. You probably haven't changed it in 10, 15 years. You know, sand should be changed between five and seven and ten, glass should be between 10 and 15. So there's a whole heap of different contributing factors to why your vacuum head may or may not be performing well. In saying that though, there is a lot of stuff out there and a lot of products out there that probably, you know, may need redesigning. Drop in the comments what you use uh, or what you prefer. Um, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. It really goes towards helping the uh, performance of the channel. Share with your friends or share with someone that you think might like it. In the meantime, enjoy your day. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.